Hello. Hello, my friends of the internet. How are we doing? Is my mic working? That's the question. Yo, we got the puppy cam set up today. He's got a little, a little treat. Hold on, buddy. We got this full of snacks. We're feeling good. We're ready to go. What's up? What's up? Hello, my friends. Happy Monday, everyone. I was feeling pretty exhausted until about 30 seconds ago when I turned on the webcam. <laughs> Let me know how your Monday is going. Happy to be here together. Hi, Lisa, Lori, Sina, Lindsay, Neil. We got a full house tonight. I love it. I love to see it. Okay. Sound is good. Excellent. I never know if I've accidentally muted myself, so we should be used to that by now. Um, anyway, as per usual, we have our President's Choice sparkling water, flavor of choice today, grapefruit. Why? Because it's all they had in stock at the grocery store. Where's my straw? I don't know. Okay. Hello, Harrison. What's good? Um, today we're going to be talking about Jay Shetty, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail. Um, I became privy to the fact that he has his own life coach school. I don't know if I've been living under a rock, uh, but I didn't know that this was a thing. So excited to, oh my God, my water's leaking everywhere. Excited to explore this together with all of you. Okay, let's see. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, no. Lindsay. <laughs> Stressful. So we moved into a new place in July, and literally within the first week, the dryer broke. So that was great. We love that for us. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, I'm going to pop one of these comments on the screen to see. Okay, nice. I was messing around with the settings today, trying to make this as enjoyable of an experience for those of you that are here to join me. So... Hopefully it like the format is good. It looks good. I'm just going to adjust the, there we go. The camera. Okay, cool. So as per usual, I don't have like much of a plan for how we're going to do this, but essentially this is what we're going to be talking about today. So excited to get that going. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have much else to say. So let's just, uh, jump right into the content. If you're catching the replay, hello, hello. Be sure to give the stream a thumbs up if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, we always have the floof cam, or at least I try my best now, now that we've figured out how to do that. Uh, the floof is three years old. <gasps> Hi, Budley. Um, his name is Bubba. If you're in the membership, you should have access to the Bubba emotes. If you're lucky, maybe Firefox will make an appearance later. <laughs> Hello, Heather. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're not already subscribed to Heather's channel, what are you doing? Okay. So, like I was blabbering about in the intro, I was watching... I don't even remember now. <laughs> this is how bad my memory is. I was watching something yesterday it was probably a tiktok let's be honest maybe it was a youtube video anyway someone mentioned this jay shetty life coaching school and i was like oh my god i didn't even know that was a thing i am very excited to dive into this and explore it together if you missed it i covered brooke castillo's life coach school months ago i think it was in may i did that video Anyway, people lately have found it. Her like cult-like following has found it and have been leaving some constructive criticism, if you will, basically saying I'm wrong and that everything I share in that video is a lie, uh, which I'll let you guys be the judge of that. However, apparently she is just one of many of these self-help grifters, in my opinion, that are offering certifications on how to become a life coach. So if you're new here, hi. If you're not new here, hi. 
This is going to be fun. Yeah, Harrison says, this is the one onion I'm excited to peel. Jay Shetty's a treat to be sure. I am thinking of perhaps, and you can let me know in the comments, I'm thinking of perhaps doing a deep dive video specifically into Jay Shetty. And then maybe I'll dive like more into this depending on what we discover today. But he has so much content online that this could be like a 20 hour stream of me just like diving into everything. So if that's of interest, let me know in the comments. Jay has always given me the ick whenever he'd pop up on my Insta Explore page. He certainly has a very, um, I will give him credit that he does have like a very signature sort of marketing style that has done really well for him, which is great for him. But again, in my opinion, he kind of falls into this like self-help grifter space, which we'll get into. Um, but yeah, if you're not familiar with who Jay Shetty is, basically he is a self-proclaimed like self-help guru he was at one time a monk he studied to be a monk and now he is a, a motivational speaker he goes on tour and you can buy tickets to his show apparently he is a life coach certifier um oh all news to me so anyway we're gonna dive into that today and I know I've said that for the last five minutes, we're going to dive into it, but we are <laughs> for real. Oh, the puppy moved to the floor. So I don't know how this is going to work. Ah, hold on. No, you can't see him. It's hard because I have so many cords set up that. Here, buddy. This is chaos. If you don't know what chaos looks like, now you do. Okay, let's try this. And you can see my vacuum. This is the very um, not aesthetic part of my room. <laughs> He's like, I just want out. Like, can you just open the door, mom? Okay, so sorry about that. Um, yes. So this is also another piece, which we can read some articles about this, but Jay Shetty has been notorious for plagiarizing a lot of his content, which is, uh, interesting to say the least. So we might have to ditch the puppy cam at some point. He's making it difficult for me today. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm like trying to keep up with the comments. Okay, so let's just jump right into this. So we'll go to his about section and maybe that will give um, a little bit more context. Thank you so much to the person who just thumbs down the stream. I appreciate the negative feedback. <laughs> uh, love it. Okay, awesome, Lisa. Sounds good. So again, I was watching a video, I don't know where, somebody mentioned that they were enrolled in this like Jay Shetty certification school. I was like, what the heck? I didn't even know he had a certification school. And now here we are. So let's kind of read a little bit about what he has going on. So it says it was founded in 2020 by Jay Shetty with a vision to impact 1 billion lives. Jay Shetty Certification School is based on Jay's coaching framework, ABCs of Coaching, that combines Jay's influential wisdom and experience with traditional coaching theories, industry competencies, and international standards. Jay's framework develops the competencies to harness the full potential of clients competently. How many times are we going to use the word competence? and responsibly teaching coaches 10 core skills. Hold on. Jay's framework develops the competencies to harness the full potential of clients competently and responsibly teaching coaches 10 core skills. Okay, is it just me or is this copy horribly written? I am so confused. Like, am I misreading it or is it just poorly written? <laughs> am I dumb? <laughs> okay, so these are the 10 core skills you're going to learn. Meet ethical, legal, and professional guidelines. Establish a coaching agreement and outcomes. 
build a trust-based relationship with the client, self-manage and maintain a strong coaching presence, communicate effectively, raise awareness and insight, design strategies and actions, maintain forward momentum and evaluation, undertake continuous coach development, above all, do no harm, respect the client's dignity, autonomy, and boundaries. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Side note. Really glad you tried it. This is like mm, one of my faves. If you're in Canada, run, don't walk to your local Loblaws. Would it be Loblaws? No frills, independent, etc. And grab the President's Choice brand cranberry ginger ale soda. So good. So freaking good. Okay. So it's not just my inability to read. It is really poorly written. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for the validation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're new here and you are thinking, like, Danielle, what's the matter? Why are we spending our time snarking being an internet hater troll? Don't you have better things to do with your time? And the answer is no, actually, I don't. But the real answer is that my problem with anyone who offers a, like, coaching certification program is that there is no governing body, first of all, but there's really no set standard as to what needs to be included in the program, what even qualifies a person to be able to certify other people. There's no system or structure or hierarchy that exists. There's no regulation. There's nobody enforcing what's going on in this space. And so I find, in my opinion, that this, stuff like this, can be put on the internet by anyone. And so basically in the example that we're gonna look at today with Jay Shetty, again, he's just an example of the other hundreds if not thousands of people that are doing the same thing, is that he has a massive following of people who essentially worship everything he says. And so now, in my opinion, what he's able to do is take advantage of those people who want to blindly believe everything he says as truth, just so he can make a bunch of money. So anyway, that's what we're going to get into today. Heather, yes, Superstore has PC. So there's also, um, so like I have the blue menu one. There's like a yuzu or not yuzu, but it's like a calamansi citrus strawberry one. It's really good too. Okay. So let's see. Maybe we'll take a look at... Okay, this explains who he is. So this might actually be a good a good little piece to quickly read through. Is there a way to pause? Like, why is it moving so quickly? Okay, so Jay has over 2 million students that have completed his online courses on relationships, purpose, and happiness. His online genius community has thousands of members from 140 countries and hosts meetups in over 100 countries. Named in Forbes 30 Under 30 for being a game changer in the world of media and featured on Ellen, Red Ta Table Talk, and The Today Show, his newest book, Think Like a Monk, Train Your Mind for Peace and Purpose Every Day, will be released in September 22, so, or 2020. I guess this hasn't been updated in a while. Number one rated podcast host, video content creator, and former monk. Oh my God, this website is so annoying. I can't pause it. Since launching his channel in 2017, Jay Shetty's viral wisdom has been viewed over 5 billion times, and he has a following of over 32 million. Jay's podcast On Purpose is the number one health podcast in the world with over 1 million downloads per week. Guests have included everyone from Khloe Kardashian to Kobe Bryant, Giselle Bunchen to Russell Brand, Yuval Noah, sorry if I'm butchering these names, I know nothing. Harari to Ray Dalio. Oh my God. Okay. And that's it. This is so bad. Oh my God. I hate this website. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's after watching this stream, we will all have, what did you say? Developed competent competencies competently. <laughs> In fact, at the end of this stream, we will all become life coaches 
and we will learn to launch our multiple six-figure businesses. Okay? Okay. Put a thumbs up in the chat if you're interested. Yeah, I think we talked about this last week, how a lot of the times these sales pages for like any of these coaches. So last week on Friday, we looked at like an ADHD coach and it was like, this program is for you if, and then they have like 10 bullet points as to like for you to identify with. And like five out of the 10 were the same as the first five. They were just like, used a thesaurus and replaced some of the words it seemed like very very funny okay interesting okay moving on so sorry Lindsay says he has a new book out now about love or something it seems as though and again like I don't really follow Jay Shetty that closely I used to actually listen to his podcast back when I believed in self-help um, but it really seems to me and someone who maybe knows more about his content might be able to correct me, but it comes off to me that he's like an expert in everything. And I say expert sarcastically, like he is an expert in relationships. He's an expert in finding your purpose. He's an expert in careers. He's an expert in social media, in video production, you name it. He has the expertise you need to be successful. Yes, exactly. He is the master of saying so many words that mean absolutely nothing. So we will continue to scroll through this website. And then I also have his YouTube channel open. So maybe we'll have a look at his YouTube channel in a bit as well. You can see at the top, I have a Reddit tab open of someone who enrolled in his program, I guess. So let's see. With the Jay Shetty Certification School, students can become certified coaches based on Jay's 10 coaching competencies and learn the same unique wisdom from Jay's coaching experience. Over 2 million students have completed one of Jay's online cor courses on relationships, purpose, and happiness. See, that's it. He's an expert in all of those things. His only genius community has thousands of members from 140 countries and 100 cities globally. Or sorry, his online genius community. So I'm assuming he has like a membership called Genius. Man, I don't know anything. I should have done more research before I showed up here as a talking head on the internet. But I'm no expert. So what do I know? Number one bestseller, Think Like a Monk. Train your mind for peace and purpose every day. Jay was named in the Forbes 30 Under 30 for being a game changer in the world of media and has been featured on Ellen. Okay, so that's the same thing. This website is just repeating what I read above. Okay, here we go. So Jay Shetty Certification School is an official member of the Association for Coaching at AACT level as part of a regulated coaching industry. We abide by the global code of ethics for coaches. I have never heard of this. Let's see. Association for Coaching. So is this like a knockoff of the ICF? The Association for Coaching is a leading... Oh, where did it go? Leading independent and not-for-profit professional body dedicated to promoting best practice and raising awareness uh, and standards in the coaching worldwide okay so essentially it's like another version of the ICF it looks like which again I've talked about this in some of my videos but like okay the ICF like tries to be a governing body for coaching they like have standards of ethics you need to follow etc but there's no enforcement and so this same situation Someone has created an agency in which they act as like this governing body for coaches, but ultimately they have no authority. I could open some sort of association for ethical coaching and charge people $200 a year to put their school in my association. That doesn't actually mean there's any recourse if people don't follow what is like laid out by my accreditation, if that makes sense. It's just another money grab is what I'm trying to say here. 
Okay. Let's see. So the school is accredited by them. In addition to that, Jay Shetty Co- Coaching Certification School is an OT. HM approved center with the right to award postgraduate diplomas. This means that completion of our qualification will meet the university's standard academic entry requirements. However, each applicant will be subject to individual assessment. What university? What is OTHM? I'm learning so many things. Our qualifications are made up of regulated qualification framework rules, which provides flexible ways to get a qualification. What qualification? What are they talking about? Someone explain to me what's going on here. (laughs) I'm so confused. Postgraduate diplomas are taught courses at level seven, the same level as a master's degree. However, they are shorter and learners will have to proceed to the dissertation. Okay, so is life coaching one of the programs? No. Diploma in what? Oh, wait. Is there one? I'm so confused. Oh, coaching and mentoring. Okay, I missed that. It's right in front of my eyeballs. Hold on. Sorry, I got to move this so I can actually click on it. Okay. Oh, and then I exited. What did I do? Oh, my God. Hold on. This is a disaster. Welcome to a day in the life of Danielle. There we go. Level seven diploma in coaching. Oh my God. Look at this rabbit hole we have fallen down. How did we get here? The OTHM level seven diploma qualification in coaching and mentoring will be of high interest to a wide range of individuals who are working in organizations or private practice and who seek, who are seeking to develop their knowledge and skills in coaching. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm thinking. So Citrus is saying this is giving Diploma Mill vibes 1,000%. Hello, Julie. Welcome. You haven't missed much. It's mostly just me blabbing for ever. Oh, God. Our qualifications are made up of qualifications. And you can have a qualification. And you, and you, and you want a diploma? You can have it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah Lindsay I don't know what's going on right now I'm a little confused if somebody help send help please okay uh the qualification in mentoring provides robust rewarding learning to introduce the concepts okay entry level so you have to have an honors degree in any subject or UK level six diploma okay so I'm confused Does his program grant you this diploma or it allows you to to get entry into the program? Approved center with the right to award post-grad qualifications. So I'm assuming it means if you take his life coaching certification, you're then qualified to go to this university and get like a diploma in coaching. Am I reading that right? How do you read it? Let me know. Okay. The coaching training accreditation by the AC signals to students that a training course meets the AC standard. Participants of the AC accredited J. Shetty certification coach training will be awarded certificate certificates of successful completion subject to them meeting standard assessment This certificate will evidence your coach training and form part of your application for the individual coach accreditation. Oh my God. This is like word salad. Jesus. Okay. Sign up for our free six day pathway to life coaching. Okay. No problem.
cool. Oh my God, guys, we're going to learn day one together. Buckle up. This is going to be good. Let me make sure I have the sound on. Oh, I'm not even in the right window. Oh my God. My life is so hard. Okay, I might have to, oh, maybe click here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. System audio capture. Okay, it should work now. Yeah, okay, that's kind of how I'm interpreting it, is like you take my life coach certification and it will qualify you to then be eligible to apply to this university that you might not get into. <laughs> Very weird indeed. I'd have a lot of questions about a university who endorses a Jay Shetty life coaching certification. That's what I'm saying. I can guarantee you that no university I've been to would be allowing me to take some online influencers certification program and then get into the school. <laughs> Yikes. Exactly. So Citra says it's like taking a college bridge course to transfer to university, but like none of it actually means anything. <gasps> ah, this is how it feels, honestly, when the essay needs 600 words, but you only know 200 and you just type it into the thesaurus and start repeating yourself. 1000%. Okay. Buckle up, everyone. Grab a snack, grab some water. We're going to learn why and how to be a life coach together right now in just 13 minutes. Sorry, I just have this window open that's driving me a little bit cuckoo bananas. Okay, so let me know if you can hear the sound as we get started. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Pathway to Life Coaching. I'm so happy to have you on board and wish you only the best as you start this new self-discovery chapter in your life. I'll be your mentor throughout this Pathway program as we introduce the roles and processes of life and success coaching that may lead your life in an exciting new direction. If you want to find out more about my certification program and whether this program is right for you, feel free to book your discovery session with my certification enrollment team. You will find the booking in the link below. My Pathway to Life coaching program will help you make an informed decision. In any important decision, there are four key elements to success. Here's what they are. Number one, knowledge. Number two, action. Number three, support. And number four, reflection. When implemented independently, these elements can be misused or paralyzing. But when combined, they complement and empower each other, creating an unstoppable force for change, mastery, and self-actualization. And that's what this Pathway program is designed to do, to employ these four key elements to empower you to step into your potential and into your future. You're going to gain so many incredible things including clarity on what professional coaching is. Thank you, Lisa, for the subscribe. Welcome to the channel. And what it's not. You need to make an informed decision about your career and your life. So having accurate, reliable information is essential. I'll give you only the information you need to make the right decision right now. You'll also gain self-actualization. So often we spend our time thinking about others' needs. But right now, you need to get introspective about what you need and you want. Right now, you need to swipe your credit card, give me all your money so I can get rich, and you can be a sucker. <laughs> your life and its direction are your responsibility and your privilege. So what life do you want to live? What do you want your future to look like? Now, some of you know that my own journey began many years ago, traveling and living as a monk across India and London. For three years, I meditated four to eight hours a day, studied and reflected, and trained my mind to ignite personal growth and help others. 
I want you to have the same incredible opportunity to harness your potential that I've enjoyed in my own life. I see the Pathway program as a first step in that direction. So let's dive in and start our first lesson where we will find out what is life coaching really about? What exactly does a coach do? How is coaching different from consulting, teaching, or therapy? The first thing to note as- Okay guys, you tell me in the comments, what is life coaching really about? Because I think it's really about becoming a life coach so you can certify other people to become life coaches so that they can also certify other people and we can all be coaches and I can be a millionaire. So that's what I learned today. As we embark on our journey to learn about the roles and processes that a life and success coach apply is that it is not a unilateral process. A life coach does not only teach and guide his or her client. The relationship is symbiotic. This means that together as a coach and client, we learn from each other, grow together, find opportunities together. And my bank account grows. Guide Oops, his or have. her client. The relationship, a different definition and expectation of what I got a too life excited. coach is and what they do. The crux is that a life or success coach helps people discover their best self. Herein already lies an important distinction. A life coach views a client's challenges and potential objectively as a third party, opening up their eyes to find the best path for themselves. Life coaches act as a mirror reflecting to clients the answers to find within them. I always say, you're not providing answers. You're guiding clients to discover their own answers. Basically, good life coaches teach, motivate, observe, and reflect. They teach the basic rules of a fulfilling life based on your needs and personality. Under what qualification? What allows someone to have the skills to be able to do that? That's what I want to know. They equip you with proven tools and techniques to develop your best self. They monitor your experience and adapt the personalized approach to best utilize your skills and ability. They anticipate obstacles and guide you to discover solutions in time. A life coach uses their expert skills in communication, analysis, and personal growth to inspire clients to find their expert skills, self-proclaimed expert skills. Because I know when I was a life coach, I just decided that I was good enough at that. Did I actually have those skills? Probably not. I just was self-proclaimed the expert. So <laughs> we're getting into some very murky territory here, my friends. And apply their inner strengths to make positive changes that will benefit them and others in their life. Next, let's look at who can reap rewards from a life and success coach and why the process is so successful. What is the impact of life and success coaching? Now, I'm sure we can all agree that every one of us has untapped potential, right? A life coach is not the person who provides answers to their clients' problems or unrealized prospects. Rather, a life coach nurtures progress in key areas of a client's life by facilitating the process that allows clients to discover their strengths and weaknesses and align it with goal achievement and living their vision. This means that a life coach has a deeper understanding of their clients than of the topic with which they are struggling. Therefore, the impact of life and success coaching is ultimately in the hands of the client. However, life coaches use their ability to understand and motivate people, including discovering their dreams, fears, hopes, to cultivate a personal environment that inspire clients to commit to positive change. A good life coach appreciates that each client is unique. They start at different places. They move at different paces. They want something different. They are the experts and change makers of their own lives, the conductor of their own orchestra. The life coach is like the sound and light technician in the background, always making sure that the best conditions exist to create the most awesome results. And okay, does anyone else feel like he is just repeating himself. <laughs> like he already said this using different words about two minutes ago. I'm so confused. So a life coach and have the most profound influence on a receptive client's life. 
They can work with almost anybody in any field, from leaders, athletes, business people, and entrepreneurs, to celebrities, artists, and philanthropists. Anyone who wants positive change in their life, who wants to forge their best self, who wants to improve themselves so that they can better serve and help others. So let's consider the difference between a coach, mentor, therapist, consultant, and teacher, which may be something you feel unclear about. Consultants are- This is actually a really good point that Space Pastry is bringing up because I think that the difference between the coaches we see, which is the majority of people who aren't successful in the online space, and then the ones that tend to like be successful or to blow up are the ones that are the most charismatic, have the most confidence and the ability to like convince people into the scam. And charisma does play a huge part in that. I would have to agree. A subject matter experts, and they're hired to manage projects or perform activities on behalf of clients and are mainly responsible for the outcome. Consultants provide information generally in a one-way flow. They use standard solutions or modified standard solutions for each client. Consultants require minimal commitment from clients as they are responsible for the outcome. A therapist, like a life coach, wants to help their clients move forward. Their objectives and approaches are very different though. The foundation of therapy is based on the medical model. As such, therapists diagnose and cure a type of dysfunction such as a therapist identifying schizophrenia or a personality disorder and help the person recover their normal functions by reducing the symptoms. Therefore, a therapist helps a patient return to their cognitive and emotional baseline or the way they used to feel, think, and act. A mentor is like a trusted advisor. It is usually someone you go to for advice on how to progress and be successful in the same area as the mentor. As such, the goal of the mentor is to bring the mentee up to where the mentor is at the time, either following a similar path or advising them on doing certain things differently based on their learning experience. But isn't this what most coaches teach? Like I did X, Y, Z, and now I have the magic five steps that are going to help you do X, Y, Z. But now he's saying mentoring is something different than coaching. Why don't these coaches make sense? Why I'm hearing contradictions. The mentor-mentee relationship is often informal and occasional. Now to state the obvious, a teacher teaches. He or she has authority of the subject matter over the student and instructs with the objective to raise their level of knowledge. The flow of information is mostly one directional and teachers test students to monitor their recollection and understanding of the material conveyed. Here's the interesting part. In contrast, a coach employs his or her people skills to engage in a symbiotic relationship or mutually beneficial interaction with clients to facilitate the positive change they seek. Okay, but mutually beneficial how? This is the part that doesn't make sense to me because if we're trying to say essentially that like coaching is on par with therapy or teaching or consulting, except it's mutually beneficial, how, as the coach, is it mutually beneficial other than you just getting super rich off of scamming people? That's the part that I don't understand. And to that I say... No, um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? Someone, please explain. Coaches enable and promote the change process using their own experience and a variety of proven Very techniques. Very true yet clients always remain responsible and accountable for their own outcome. After this video lesson, I suggest that you read a chapter about the history and evolution of the life coaching industry to expand the knowledge further. Now, I'd like to offer a few final comments to conclude the knowledge part of today's material as the first lesson of the Pathway program. For most proficient life coaches, including myself, Coaching is an endeavor of lifelong learning and service. We sincerely aim to change people's lives positively. Every day I aspire to learn something new with which to help people reach their dreams. Among all the travesty and pain, I want to make the world a better place for as many people as I can. Life coaching is a challenging but hugely rewarding profession. It is a great responsibility to affect the lives of clients one that I cherish and respect every day. 
My client's growth is my growth. My client's pride and joy are my pride and joy. Always remember this, and you too can become an amazing life coach. Ne Kamikaze, to that I say, this is on behalf of Jay Shetty. Raise your hand if you want to get rich. <laughs> I had to. Next, I want to guide you on your first reflection as a future life coach. Self-reflection is an integral part of any growth process. After this lesson, I ask that you create your own definition of life and success coaching and write down five things a life or success coach can help you with at this moment of your life. Create your own definition because in this industry, there is no standard and no definition. So whatever you say is life coaching will be what life coaching is. In fact, in my new certification program that I'm launching at the end of this stream, I've decided that life coaching is, I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to decide because I get to decide is what he just told me. I also want to introduce you to the daily habit of journaling as this lesson's practical exercise. Psychologists and cognitive behavioral experts have long- He's acting like this is groundbreaking information. I cannot. ...realized that writing has therapeutic value and produces valuable personal insights. By writing down a few of your most negative or positive thoughts or feelings and behavior every day, you start to see the connection between your cognitive experiences, i.e. your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and your behavior. This is known as the cognitive cycle, which shows how you respond to situations in the context of your core beliefs. Core beliefs are our basic truths about ourselves, others, and the world around us that are shaped by clusters of all previous experiences put together. For instance, a situation where a colleague failed to notice, you may trigger a thought of being rejected. Perhaps you've repeatedly disappointed or abandoned earlier in your life, and you expect the same to happen again. Based on these experiences, you immediately assume your colleague disapproves of you, causing hurt and anxiety. Negative feelings are uncomfortable, so you try and relieve that pressure and distress by doing something on impulse. A thoughtless action is often negative. You may react with anger, say something vengeful, or isolate yourself. These negative responses can attract others to react negatively too, and the cycle repeats, often reinforcing your existing beliefs about yourself and others. Now, if you write down your most positive and negative thoughts and feelings daily, and add the context of the situation and other details like what happened, what you did, who was with you, and so on, you will quickly start to see patterns. These will show you the things that make you habitually happy or unhappy, which is a good foundation for goal setting and a successful change process. Your suggested reading for the first lesson will involve finding a coach that is a role model to you and read his or her story. Now that you've gone through the first lesson in the Pathway program, Watch somebody's rags to riches story so that you feel like you can relate to them, but make sure you come back to me and buy from my program. Um, let's look at what to expect in the second lesson. In the next lesson of the Pathway program, we will continue the journey by discussing the skills and qualities you need to have to become a great life coach, but more importantly, how to develop the coveted coaching mindset. Now I'm sure that you are equally thrilled to continue your discovery alongside me. Until next time, keep discovering and let's make wisdom go viral together. Okay, this is an interesting point. So Citrus is saying, it sounds to me like life coaches go to therapists and then just lift the therapy tools and rebrand and use them improperly. Like he's saying stuff my therapist said, but poorly. And I don't think you're wrong. So... I did back when I thought I was a life coach, I did an online certification through Udemy. And in that course, we would learn about things like CBT, DBT, different like uh, tricks to rewire your brain and stuff like that. And then after, you know, a few years later, I went back to school for my certification in mental health intervention. I worked in addiction for a while. And I started to realize that a lot of the tools we would actually use in a clinical setting were very similar to the things that I learned in my like life coaching certification. And this comment 
100% encapsulates it. They take these tools and techniques and then package them in like an off-brand way. So it's like, it doesn't fully explain the concept or where it came from. It's just a very poor iteration of something that already exists in therapy. <laughs> At least in my observation, that's what it's looked like. Hi, yeah, yeah. Yes, this is what I want to know. Danny is saying, where are the sources that his courses work? That his focus groups actually help and not make people worse? Also, I don't know where the comment went, but one of you mentioned like, why is this so focused on the coaches and not about the transformation for the clients? Like, why are we focusing so much on like, here's why you should be a coach? Not if you become a coach, you know, these are the types of people you can help and this is how you can help them. Like if I think about like any other profession, like let's say I want to become a doctor or a nurse or a dentist, like it's pretty clear when I think of those professions, how I'm going to be able to help people and what the outcome is going to be for the client if I'm in that profession. But this is less about the actual job so much as like the idea of having the job, if that makes sense. Literally, it's like the wish version of therapy. That's how it feels to me too. So, okay, let's take a look at this applicant's guide. So apparently we have to apply to be let in. But my guess is you fill out the form, you get on a sales call, everyone gets into the program. But we'll see. Okay, sure. Jay Shetty Certification School. Oh, oh weird. This is like a slideshow. Okay, so, oh my God, this is so much. Okay, so we kind of covered some of this. Okay, what do our students think? Let's see. My favorite aspect of the Jay Shetty Certification School is the sense of camaraderie. From the beginning to the end, you okay. never felt alone. Boring. My favorite aspect by far of the Jay Shetty Certification School was getting to do the course with really cool, like-minded, personal development, loving people. Okay, so they were all saying the same thing. <laughs> um, okay, so what we offer, training, blah, 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 program structure. Let's see, I'm actually curious. So you do 42 hours of video lessons. Then you have 33 hours of self-study, 32 hours of practice where you coach real people on Zoom to develop expert level coaching competence and confidence before graduation. Then you do a final exam. Cool. Oh, Monica, you want to know what the students are getting out of it? Friends, the camaraderie, connecting with like-minded, self-help loving people. That's what you get out of this. But I'm going to guess it's going to cost a pretty penny just to make some friends. Pro tip, download Bumble BFF if you want to make friends. It's free. <gasps> Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this we kind of already looked at. Oh, those are the universities you could get into if you do your program. Cool. ABC coaching. Blah, blah, blah. This is a stock photo from Canva. So I wonder if they made this website in Canva. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but just funny for someone who makes millions of dollars, allegedly. Um, okay, those were the 10 principles we already looked at. Here we go. Application. Wait, where's the application? Or does this just mean how to apply it? What you'll get. Okay, everything we just talked about. Here we go. Book an enrollment interview with one of the Jay Shetty certified advisors, attend the interview, complete registration online, receive a welcome email. So yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to sign up for a sales call. That person is literally trained in closing you. They're going to get you to hand over your credit card and then you're going to pay and that's it. Then you're in. Okay, interesting. Well, not really, but how do I get out of here? 
I'm trapped. Okay, we're just gonna exit. <laughs> Help. Okay, so that was day one. I'm gonna get emails for the next six days. So that'll be good content for the big video that I do, I guess. Let's go to the FAQs. <clears throat> yeah, so I think this comment is saying the audacity that you have to apply. I think the reason why they do like an application is to just enhance the like perceived legitimacy so it seems a lot more um, reputable if you have to go through an application process when the reality is, again, it's just going to be a sales call. And I say this based on my own experience. I could very well be incorrect, but this is what I've seen in the industry. I remember specifically there was like a group coaching program with a coach from the States that I applied to. And same thing. I had to fill out a full application they then had me get on this sales call and they immediately started pitching the program. So the application is just like, makes you feel like, oh, I was so special, I got selected. But chances are they're selecting everyone who applies. There's no, um, what's the word? No like exclusivity or anything. Yeah, so Lisa is saying, I bet that anyone that has gotten this far will turn out to have all the qualities that make a good coach. He said discussion of the qualities will be in the next lesson. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be like very, also very broad, probably like things that anyone could nod along to and be like, yeah, that's me. Exactly. They're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah, exactly. Same format. I'm taking 10 unlucky saps who want to apply for my coaching program. Spots are limited. Price goes up midnight on Tuesday. And if you apply on Wednesday, you'll still get in. <laughs> but only this one time. I'm going to do a favor for you because you're so special. You deserve it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh, why are they all videos? This is so weird. So will I become an accredited coach? Blah, 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 blah. What will I learn? What kind of students? Here we go. Let's see what kind of career opportunities we have. Maybe. Do, do, do. Question four. What are my career opportunities as a Jay Shetty certified life or success coach? Life and success coaching is a growing industry as people from all walks of life are choosing to work with a life coach to catapult their careers, break free from perceived roadblocks and improve a particular area of their lives, such as their finances, physical health or relationship. As a life or success coach, you can have the most profound influence on a receptive client's life. You can work with almost anybody in any field from leaders, athletes, business people, and you can be an expert and you can be an expert and you can be an expert in anything you want. Do you want to be a relationship expert? Great. Money expert? Great. Uh, career expert? Great. Doesn't matter what it is. Just decide. And entrepreneurs to celebrities, artists, and philanthropists. You cannot be a coach for entrepreneurs if you have no experience as an entrepreneur. I'm sorry. By learning to serve clients in a creative and interactive process, Coaches inspire their clients to achieve the maximum potential in all areas of their lives. For most proficient life coaches, coaching is an endeavor of lifelong learning and service. Life coaching is a challenging but hugely rewarding profession. It is a great responsibility to affect the lives of clients, one that I cherish and respect every day. If you want to dedicate your life to inspiring and guiding others to achieve the maximum potential in all areas of their lives, life or success coach career is the right choice for you. Okay, even if I like believed in coaching and supported the coaching industry, if you wanted to be an expert in coaching, do not be a coach that coaches on everything. That is like, it's never gonna happen. I remember when I had my like life coaching business and I was working with a mentor 
She explained to me that people like Jay Shetty, people like Gabby Bernstein, people who have been in the industry for so long and are like the celebrities of the coaching world are able to pose as experts in everything because they have such a large following. But if I'm, you know, Jane Doe starting my coaching business with only 200 followers on Instagram, no one's going to take me seriously if I act like I'm an expert in everything. This is just like the principles of business. You cannot be a like one size fits all solution for everyone. You're never going to build a business that way. So exactly. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Exactly. So freaking annoying. But again, people that watch this kind of content don't know any better. So they're going to listen to this and be like, oh my God, this guy knows what he's talking about. No, he freaking doesn't. (laughs) Oh, so bad. Exactly. This is how I feel too. So Lucy here in the comments says, this is just easy money for these big coaches. I don't believe they really care about their students. And I would have to agree with that. I feel like... It reaches a point, I was actually thinking about this earlier today. Um, I was out for a walk and my mind was just kind of wandering. And I was really just thinking like, as someone who becomes, like if you become a big, large scale influencer or self-help guru or online coach, does it reach a point where you genuinely know, like I'm no longer helping people, I'm just taking advantage of people? Or have you played mental gymnastics enough with yourself to just convince yourself that you're helping? And so do these people actually think that they're doing something good? Or do they know that it's like a little bit sketchy and they just don't care because they want to make money? That is the question of the day. (laughs) Uh, I guess so. Grifters got a grift. I will say though, in other news... There's 39 of you watching and only 22 likes, so. Thumbs up the stream, please, and thank you. Please, I'm desperate, please. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Ah, yes, Ray, the question that we all want to know the answer to. Why is everyone an expert at everything? Or sorry, why is everyone an expert at life? It's so infuriating. They aren't helping anyone but themselves. His claim to fame is quitting as a monk, isn't it? Yes, it is. So in the intro video we watched, he explained that he studied as a monk for three years. He meditated for like eight hours a day and then became an expert in social media and now is certifying people to become a life coach. So how did we get here? I'm not sure. Um, We haven't got to the pricing yet. That's going to be the grand reveal at the end. Thank you everyone so much for the thumbs ups. I see them coming through. I appreciate you so much. (sighs) Yeah, okay, this is what I want to know. So Harrison's saying you're never the villain when you're the hero of your own story. So have these people literally convinced themselves that their message is so important and that they have like such a high level of self-importance, I guess, that they truly believe they're helping people and they don't realize that um, they're actually just taking advantage of people. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I have no shame. <laughs> uh, okay, continuing. Um, do, 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 do. I guess maybe we should watch this one. So it says, how can I know this program is the right fit for me and my current career goals? Because I feel like this is where we're really going to see this, like, This program is for everyone. It's great for everybody. If you can walk and talk and you have a credit card, this program is for you. But maybe he'll prove me wrong. Let's see. Question 14. How can I know this program is the right fit for me and my current career goals? The best way to discover if a coaching career is a right choice for you and if our certification school can help you achieve your goals is to book an interview with one of our enrollment advisors. So they- AKA salespeople. They can answer any questions you may have and help you- And have a rebuttal for every bit of insecurity that you might indicate. Make an informed decision. You will find the booking link below. So that was very not productive. Didn't answer my question, but he wants you to get on a sales call is what he's saying. (laughs) 
Yeah. And I really think they have to. These people have to know what they're doing because I think like even again, like I always speak from my own experience back when I had a coach and she would like tell me to do things that I didn't think really were ethical or made any sense. Like I've told this story a thousand times for those of you that have been here a long time. But basically at that time I owned a yoga studio and I was doing like life coaching and she told me to stop teaching yoga, stop doing life coaching and teach other people how to quit their jobs and start a yoga business. But at that time, my yoga business was making like less than $20,000 a year. Like I wasn't living purely off the amount of money I was making from my yoga studio. And so it didn't seem ethical to me to like sell people on this dream that I hadn't quite achieved yet. And so I never did that because it, again, it didn't feel right to me. I knew something was off, even though she was telling me it was okay to do it. I was like, mm, morally, like that doesn't seem right to me. And so I feel like these people, especially like the large scale ones, have to come to this realization where they're asking themselves like, is this ethical? Should I be doing this? Like, I don't know. Unless your moral compass is broken, it seems very unlikely that you wouldn't know what you're doing. Is at least how I feel. Exactly. I feel like bigger life coaches are aware it's a scam. Exactly. Or at least they know that like, if they haven't quite pinpoint what it is, they have to have this realization that like the people at the bottom are likely getting screwed. Yeah, Heather, between his like eyes and his accent, it's unfortunate for the rest of us. <laughs> Exactly. And this is a good point too. So Danny says, I agree. The low level people probably think they're helping people. And again, like from my own experience, I only ever made in total, maybe like a few thousand dollars from my coaching, like part of the business. And I genuinely thought I was like positively helping people. And I never did anything like particularly scammy. Like I never took advantage of anyone. But it's like, those people probably should have just been in therapy. They shouldn't have been getting their life advice from a 27-year-old. Um, but I, again, I genuinely was coming from this place where I thought that I was helping people. So I, I totally agree with that. This is true too, actually. So Sina says, I think they know mental gymnastics could be, but it worked for me and not seeing their privileges, but I doubt it. And this is actually a really interesting piece. Again, something I've been thinking about recently, especially in the business space. So we see a lot of business owners and I speak out about this a lot who are like, well, I built this digital product. I sold it and I made $10,000. Now I have, you know, this five-step process you can follow to learn how to do it too. And... I genuinely think that a lot of those people think that their success is duplicatable. They think I was just a normal person. I had this level of success. Now you can do it too, which if you've watched my content, you know that I don't believe that to be true. Um, and I never teach any of my consulting clients like, Hey, this was the result I had in my business. And if you follow this step, it's going to happen for you too, because I can't make those kind of promises. Um, as a mentor, you can teach from experience, but you can never like guarantee certain outcomes. And so I think that again, a lot of the smaller scale sort of like grifters genuinely think this, they think that it happened for me, it can happen for you. And here's my, you know, five step solution. That's going to make it possible for you. Okay, so Lisa says there's a one minute video in which he says he quit being a monk because he wanted to share what he had learned as a monk with others. Okay, but isn't that like, I don't know enough about monks. I'll have to look into this when I make like a deep dive video. But the whole like using the internet to spread the message of being a monk to me seems like so counterintuitive to like the principles of being a monk. But maybe I just have like a misconception of what a monk is.
So Lucy's saying some coaches claim that their energy and embodiment is worth their clients money rather than what they're actually teaching. Yes, I've covered that in a number of my videos. There's one particular coach who's based here in Canada that's like infamous for this. Um, but a thousand percent a narrative that they all and again, this comes down also I did another video on this, the connection between like narcissism or narcissistic tendencies and traits that people have in the industry. And I definitely think there's kind of an overlap there where a lot of the people who find success in this industry, again, have this sense of like self-importance where they genuinely believe that they know everything. They really are the expert and you need to pay them to be able to access that energy, that expertise. And it's going to like rub off on you through osmosis. Not something I believe in but definitely something that we see in the industry all the time. And it's come up a lot in the like reaction content I've done. Okay, sorry, that was a bit of a tangent. Um, let's see if we can figure out, I wonder if there is like, um, if the price isn't listed because you have to get on a sales call. So this is a tactic I've talked about in so many of my videos. But a lot of the times these coaches won't list their prices on their website because they want to put you in like a high pressure sales situation where they can then like convince you to sign up. Like they'll get you saying yes to all of these questions. Like, don't you want to change your life? And wouldn't it be great to be able to quit your job and blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, they'll be like, it's going to cost you $10,000. So. Well, honestly, Monica, that's how it feels. It's like. Come sit in my energy and I will transfer my genius to you. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this is the part that I was kind of thinking. Like monks don't have a lot of possessions or money, so he totally turned his back. It doesn't make sense. Well, exactly. And so, sorry, Ray, if you're only listening, Ray says, I wish these folks would quit sharing. Talking about yourself does not help other people. An anecdotal story does not make for solid evidence. I think there is space for people to share from their experience and to say like, hey, my name's Danielle. I did this thing. But when you're using that story, like you said, as evidence of like, because I did this thing, now you can do it too that's when it gets icky to me because I think there is a space to like provide people with inspiration. You know, maybe I broke my ankle and then all of a sudden I healed it and I was able to walk normally and now I'm a competitive athlete. I'm making up a silly example, but that might be inspirational to someone who's experiencing in uh, injury. But for me to say I broke my ankle and now I healed it and I'm a competitive athlete and I have this like, you know, five-step physio trick that's going to help you become a professional athlete too not keeping mind to the fact of the other factors that played in me being able to become a professional athlete, that's where the disconnect happens, in my opinion. So freaking annoying. We need a shirt that says, I learned this through osmosis. <laughs> Coming soon. Along with the I hate everything merch, because that's the theme of this channel. Me just hating everything. Hello, hello, Eloise. If you're not subscribed to Eloise's channel, you should be. Exactly. So there's one thing about sharing experiences, but that doesn't mean you're an expert and your experience does not equal evidence. I think that's like the clear differentiation. Because I see a lot of business gurus being like, I grew my Instagram to 100,000 and I'm going to teach you the five-step system I use to do that. Making it sound like if you watch my, my five-step system, you're also going to be able to do that. Which like, sure, you might have helpful tips and tricks that will help me to like be better at creating content. But there's a lot of other factors that go into like why your video blew up and you gained 100K. It's the same with like me here on YouTube. I can make videos giving you advice that I've learned through my experience of being a YouTuber. But I'm never going to guarantee you that I have some secret that's going to help you reach 10K followers or subscribers because I don't. Half of it is luck. <laughs> Let's be honest. <sighs> A 
and in my opinion merch okay interesting that's a good one too i learned mr osmosis i hate it here and in my opinion <laughs> everything on this channel is my opinion <laughs> oh god okay um anyway sorry i keep getting distracted by my own self and this cute little puppy sorry buddy i'm just trying to give the people a better view <laughs> okay so i don't think we're gonna find out how much money it is um okay become a coach maybe yeah i have to sign up for the program and then register for a call so i wonder if i can google it j shetty <laughs> j sheet <gasps> Okay, so I already looked it up on Reddit. Um, let's see, cost. Hmm. All right, guys, so it's Friday, and, and right now I'm currently... Oh God, this audio is so bad. Okay, what I thought it costs. He is a well-known um, person. I don't think he would. He called me and interviewed me for this role. And afterwards, we discussed the payment plan. So there are options for payment plans. And I do believe if you were able to pay the, lar the lump sum in one payment, they would actually give you like an $800 discount. For me, I don't have the money because everything that I discussed in the last uh, video diary. So basically. What is the notification? What am I missing? Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. It's going to be $980 for eight months. Oh. $980 for nine months? That's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, a super sticker. Thank you, Monica. I appreciate that. $5 US. Do you know what the exchange rate is right now? That's like $7 where I live. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Sorry. I was trying to grab my calculator. That's like almost 10 grand, right? 980 dollars for nine months eight thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars yes so he said if you if you pay at once you get an eight hundred dollar discount so it would be like eight thousand dollars but if you need a payment plan then you pay eight thousand eight hundred dollars hi yeah 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 this is where we all learn that I am the ultimate scammer and anyone who's in my membership is a big dumb idiot who fell for my ploy of me tricking you into thinking that you were going to be a millionaire when in fact I am the only millionaire around. That's a joke. I'm not a millionaire for anyone that's can't read sarcasm. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Oh, yeah, seriously. A thousand dollars a month isn't very monk like of him. That's what I was thinking. And again, this is one person, right? So like, how many people are we going to dupe? I wonder how many students are in this program. That's what I want to know. That's more than my car payment. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Honestly, if you are watching this video and you're really dead set on becoming a life coach, just get a certification on Udemy for like $10. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. They're all teaching the same BS. So if you really need to do it, save yourself $8,000 and just get it on Udemy. It's all the same. Okay, let's read the comments. Man, I didn't realize it was that much. Thankfully, I've been saving. My plan is to enroll during the next cycle. Oh no, save yourself. I should just paste the link to this stream as a reply to all of these comments. <laughs> Thank you for this. Congrats on signing up. 
super helpful. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. So maybe it's only eight months. Maybe I miscalculated, but still it's a lot of money. Man, this sounds shady as hell. Yeah, if you're not trying to be a coach or willing to pay to learn a new trait, then you should definitely keep your money in your pocket. You don't need to be a certified to be a life coach. This is for those that would like to learn how to be one in the formal way. <laughs> this is the best. This is what like people cannot see. Do you need to have a high school or a degree? Thank you for sharing this video. Nope, not at all. You just have to pay to get in. If you can walk, you can talk, and you have a credit card... It's time to get rich. It sounds like a get rich quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get <laughs> Oh my God. Exactly. Space Pastry says, you don't need a certification. Just be one and a half steps ahead. So bad. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, Aaron Bees is live right now too. If you guys want to pop over and give her a little thumbs up, we love to see it. Okay, I don't know if he has, does he have 2 million students in this? Or I, I read that as more of like 2 million students in all of his online courses. But I don't know how much his other online courses cost. Maybe they're $8,000 as well. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You don't need anything but to pay to get in. If you have a credit card, you can come. You can sit with us. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a get poor quick scheme. Anna, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Welcome. 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 Okay, where was I? Um, let's go ahead and read some of these um, Reddit, Reddit um, posts that I found. So this one in particular says, my mom recently enrolled in Jay Shetty's life coaching course, and I'm concerned she's being scammed. Yikes. Basically the title, my mom has been telling us it's her life calling to do this course and become a life coach. I've only heard of Jay Shetty through H3, and I know they hate him, but I am looking for genuine opinions on if she's gone off the deep end. She has been raving about Shetty, and I genuinely don't know what to think. I personally think all life coaching paid programs are scammy, but I haven't looked into it too much. Is he actually a bad guy or does Ethan lean into the bit? He leans into the bit. Shetty's not the devil, but you're also not wrong about life coaching. It is generally a scam. There's probably a free version out there with the same information Shetty has in his programs, but isn't charging a premium. And that is my point. If for some reason you are in a position where you are dead set on becoming a life coach or, you know, personally developing yourself, go to Udemy, go to Skillshare, go to YouTube. There are so many more affordable or free options available to teach you the same garbage that you're going to learn in this course. I can guarantee that even though I've never taken the course. So I guess I can't guarantee it, but I'm going to assume that you will not be led astray. Okay. Trust me. I'm a life coach. <laughs> Part of what concerned me in the first place is it's like $656 a month or something wild, basically putting cash in the furnace. With that amount of money, she could do an actual accredited course for way cheaper. Tell her to check out Udemy. Exactly. Holy shit. I thought my mom's spiritual guru was taking her for a ride, but that's insane. What? For how long? Six month course. She keeps telling us she's going back to school. That's super sad. A month. I'll live in a, sh I'll live a shitty life over a shitty life for that much. Hi, yeah, yeah. He's a hardcore capitalist selling the secret. Every generation has a Jay Shetty. Personally, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he's just another self-help grifter to me. It's a bit that Ethan gets really into. It started over the streamies last year. Sam and I think Ian too even said they like Shetty and listen to his podcast. Try to talk to her about actually going back to school, not for a specific degree, but just take some psych classes and other relevant stuff. If not, find a counselor or a therapist, maybe. Interesting. 
Okay, let me catch up on your comments. Google says his net worth is $30 million. He's probably like Brooke Castillo and wants to reach $100 million. Sigh. Big fat sigh. Yeah, getting taken to school by the millionaire monk. That's 1,000% it. Okay, so um, I worked with a like mindset coach back in 20, 2018, 2019, 2018. And basically that individual, and again, so silly, young little Danielle didn't know any better, okay? They basically just helped me like goal set and hold me accountable to being able to like achieve those goals. So they're like my personal cheerleader. Basically what normal people would do with their friends, I paid someone money to do with me. So that was my experience. If someone else has hired a, a life coach, you can let me know in the comments what they did for you. Exactly. Monica makes a really good point here. So she says, also, this coaches have no end. If you take a course, there's usually a graduation, like you'll get a certificate at the end. But with these types of scams, they always find something for you to keep buying. And this is something that we talk about a lot, especially in the business coaching space is, and I know like Hillary, I don't know if she's here today, but she um, is pretty active in my comment section usually. Um, she talks a lot about when she used to work with a coach, her coach would encourage her to build this like value ladder where you have this like lower tier offer that people buy into. Once they work through that offer, you sell them on the next tier, the next tier, the next tier, and each one gets incrementally more expensive. And that's typically the format that so many of these people follow. So you get your certification, you become a life coach. Well, maybe now you have to, you know, hire a business coach so you can learn how to grow your business your life coaching business then once you work through that business coaches group mastermind they convince you to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching and so on and so on and so on it just like keeps going on forever so yes that's a pretty correct assumption in my experience but again this is all anecdotal this is just me sharing what i know from what i know <laughs> Okay. So Harrison says, life coaches make you poor and blame you for it while convincing you the dream is always one downline away. Lori says, there's a really good book about getting that kind of support from a friend, group, colleagues, etc. It's called Wishcraft. It is not about manifestation. Thank you for the disclaimer, because I was like, do you know where you are right now? Don't be shilling your grift in my comments, okay? I'm just kidding. <sighs> okay, here we go. Anne says, I hired a good life slash business coach that helped me start my own business. Not a coaching business. I had a great experience with her, but the ones that just want a downline are sketchy. Exactly. The coaches that are coaching coaches to coach other coaches are the ones that have like a seemingly never end to their pyramid, to the grift, you know? Oh, I love that. Eloise says, yep, I've just set up being accountable with a friend. The loser buys the other one M&Ms at the end of the month. I have a friend um, that I met for coffee recently and she was telling me um, she has a, another friend who is, so she's a content creator. Her friend is also a content creator or a comedian. And they did this like 30 day sprint where they challenged each other to make a video, like a short form TikTok or Instagram reel every single day for 30 days. And if any of them missed a day, they had to e-transfer the other person $20, which like for my, uh, American viewers, it's the same as like Venmo or Cash App, um, but they had to like send each other $20. So funny. <sighs> yeah, do that instead of just like join a Facebook group. You don't need to pay someone to be your friend. 
Okay, so as you can see earlier, I was trying to Google people's experiences. Um, but so far, I haven't really found a lot of negative feedback, which is interesting. Okay, Jay Shetty and his wife are always preaching about not being materialistic. Has anyone noticed how these two always talk about how we should live a simple life and step away from materialism, but they are always starting new businesses and obsessed with making money? Make it make sense. The other day I got an ad for Jay Shetty's coaching certification program. What the question mark? LMAO, they certainly don't live the minimalist and simple lifestyle that they preach about. Nothing wrong with wanting to make money, but it's very ironic coming from them. Thanks for your post. Oh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Stay in a mansion in LA and teach about minimalism. I'm not a fan of these self-help gurus for the same reason. They wouldn't understand working class problems. If you watch their videos, you can see they lead a pretty fancy life with all the amenities. Another of their category is beer biceps. He quotes Jake Shetty like Jay is the only God. He has built his career on stealing content and motivational quotes from other people and never acknowledged it. Yeah, scam. He once offered to help me figure out what to do with my life in a one hour session for $90,000. I think it's like, hey, do we need a new refrigerator? Okay, let's launch a workshop. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine living life like that? Like, hmm. I would really like to buy a new Ferrari. So I think I'm going to start teaching people how to become life coaches. Seems like the easiest way to make a quick buck. This guy gives me scamster vibes and all the Indian influencer and celebrity diaspora keep promoting him for reasons I cannot fathom. Also, he has always been materialistic. He comes from money and has a business school degree and used to work at Accenture after his monk business. He and his wife are now shilling herbal tea with words like vegan, adaptogenic, Ayurvedic, all the possible icks. Reason is simple. He is sitting in the U.S. and has a PR team, which has him exposure in Western media. We all know how much our Desi influencers are influenced by anything West. And if it's a Desi who made it in the West, that's their dream. So keep licking them up. Okay, interesting. To be fair, if chicks are going to profit off our bullshit mysticism, we should be able to scam some of that dough back. He is a parasite, and so is that Nicole Arbor doofus who exposed him. You don't have to expose a person whose op occupation is motivational speaker. That's just a euth euthanism for I don't want to work for money, but I still want a lot of it. Reddit, man. You make my brain melt sometimes. He was caught plagiarizing some quotes two years ago. I did digging and realized he's selling spiritual and coach stuff mostly. It's recycled content. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So all these people are just repeating the same thing. Very, very uh, not surprising. Okay. That was this, this. Oh, and then this is his YouTube channel, which we can we can read through in a second. Let me just see what's up okay I love an out of touch life coach you and I both exactly other people should be minimalist and simple so that they can make their money it's like the televangelist asking for money to buy their private jets yes 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 Yes. Okay. So this is um, a concept that I've talked about a couple times on my channel. So Ray is saying, I have a coach for my graduate studies through my work. It's included through a work program. I spoke to her today. Um, my partner works in like the startup world and he has had a mentor on and off for a number of years. And he connected with that mentor through like the university we attended. And it's very interesting to me because in like the real world I refer to this kind of coaching as not the real world um but in the real world there is value in mentorship there is value in having a coach in having someone who can help you through your graduate studies through building a startup through all of these things 
provided that they're not financially gaining from you being able to do that thing. But the thing we see here with like this iteration of coaching is that these people are just making a ton of money off of selling you on some sort of dream. So in this case, he's selling us on the dream of being a life coach while he makes $1,000 a month from each of us. Yeah, if I had $90,000 to blow, I wouldn't need to hire a life coach. I'd be doing well. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> Literally this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make merch that says, take care, comb your hair, Jay Shetty. As if he's the one that came up with that. <laughs> Which, by the way, I didn't come up with it either. I used to work with this stoner back when I was like 18. And he would always say that to me at the end of every shift. And I stole it from him. So maybe I'll make merch and pretend that I quoted it. Let's do take care, comb your hair, Danielle Ryan, and then put that all in quotes and put Jay Shetty. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jay Shetty does not have Brendan Bouchard money. I hear he has $190 million. Oh, my God. It just keeps getting better. Oh. <sighs> I love this. So Monica says, I'm a mentor to my sailors as well. I guide them through military life and help them when I can in their personal life. Exactly. It's like this kind, there is a place for mentorship and mentorship can be super valuable, but it has been extrapolated into this like exploitative money-making scheme. And it's so upsetting to see that. Okay, so let's just quickly read here through his about on his YouTube channel. So I'm Jay Shetty, a storyteller, podcaster, and former monk. My vision is to make wisdom go viral in an accessible, relevant, and practical way. Tell me, tell me to rewrite this sentence without using all these buzzwords. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Check back for my videos that are posted each week on topics of motivation, wisdom, love, and relationships. Subscribe and be a part of the movement to make wisdom go viral. Join the conversation by commenting below. Enroll in Genius Coaching to improve your life, deepen your relationships, and find happiness in every day. This is what we want to see. What is this genius thing that I keep seeing? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, J Shetty Genius. Eloise says, in 2019, accused of plagiarism of quotes and had 113 posts removed from his Insta. Sounds like Rachel Hollis. <laughs> same, same, but different. Okay, let's fill out this quiz. Five questions to discover your deeper purpose. Which area of your life are you working on right now? Um, let's go with feeling more motivated. What's something you've been struggling with that could be holding you back from reaching your goals? Improving my mental health? What in the backwards anti-therapy BS is this? Holy freaking crap. I'm going to click all of the above. You're three questions away from discovering your deeper purpose. Studies show that just 90 days of meditation can help you improve your sense of purpose by up to 40%. What in the actual flippity flop, as DC would say, studies show that 90 days of meditation can help you improve your sense of purpose? Why is it? Can someone explain to me? Hold on, hold on. I got to make myself big for this one. Why is it that we live in a world where everyone feels it necessary to have this like greater sense of self, sense of purpose? Why? Why can't we just like exist? Why do we have to tie ourselves to this like greater being or reason to be, if that makes sense? Like why? Oh my God, it makes me want to do things that I can't talk about on the internet without getting demonetized. <sighs> yep. 
Yes, love this, Rebecca. Rebecca says, I am a mentor to some first and second year teachers. I'm not perfect, but I love sharing my ups and downs. Lots of value in sharing your experience, for sure. This quiz feels really predatory. That was my first impression as well. No matter what you answer, it's going to be, it's the same as the freaking sales calls or the applications. You fill out an application, you get on a sales call. I fill out this survey, they're going to pitch me the program. I freaking hate it. What pain point can we exploit? Let's book a discovery call and see. Ugh, so bad. Coaching has a place to be a profession, but it needs to be coaching within an actual field of expertise. This is what these people are missing. Life coach should not be a job title. And I would also go even further to say that like, the tricky piece is that there's no standard. So if I become a business coach, there's no standard proving that I even have experience as a business, like as a business owner. So, so many people like cosplay as business coaches without having any experience ever running a business. And it's just like, ugh, gross. Why does nobody cite their sources? Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. Okay, let's see. Let's continue the quiz and see what's next. Your peace of mind when you meditate in workshops with Jay every week. No freaking thank you. No thank you. Select the one thing you feel gives you the most purpose in your life right now. Taking responsibility for my life, being a good friend, feeling happier and more fulfilled, performing well at work, feeling energized, discovering something greater than myself. Uh, let's just say feeling happy. Do you feel fulfilled in your current phase of life? Never. On a scale from one to 10, how hopeful do you feel about the future? One. The future is bleak, my friend. Okay, let's see. My name is Jane. My email is this burner email. Don't ever send anything to this email only because I'm never going to read it. <laughs> My actual email is linked in the description of this video if you need to get a hold of me. Okay, let's see. Jay, tell me. I did type in my name. My name is Jane Doe. Get better one per get 1% 1 better every day with genius workshops and meditations. Okay, oh it's muted. Hold on. Hold on. Jay, shut up. Jay's weekly workshops help you unlock your purpose and potential. Okay, let's see. Let me tell you the story of why I decided to create Genius. There were so many people watching the videos I was creating online. At the same time, there were so many people downloading the podcast and now today even reading the book. But what I realized is that to create real change in someone's life, you need three C's. Those three C's are coaching, consistency, and community. You need a coach to help guide the way, show you no, the you path, don't. let you know the obstacles and challenges that will probably come your way. You need consistency. You need that commitment to do something weekly on a regular basis so that you can actually see change, measure change, and improve and watch how your life is elevating step by step. And you need an incredible community to help you do it. Without accountability, without having friends, without creating a sense of family, it's really difficult to make lasting change. So I, with a team, created Genius so that we could give you the platform, the place, the purpose so we could to take, take advantage that of step you towards your one best space. self in the areas that matter the most. Whether ew, it's ew, financial, ew. mental, physical, spiritual, emotional. Again, in every aspect of your life, financially, mentally, spiritually, in your relationships, your career, etc., etc., etc. You got a problem? I could fix it. Isn't that uh, vanilla ice? <laughs> if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me see. I'm coasting until retirement. Getting some occasional travel in. Don't need Jay Shetty for that. You and I both, my friend. Exactly. The results are, congrats, you're depressed. Get out your wallet. I have the one-size-fits-all solution for you that you didn't even know you needed. 
Hello, Rosie. Welcome, welcome. Hi, 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 hi. The hidden fourth C is cult. I love that. Oh, God. I freaking hate this. Emotional health. We prioritize those in genius so that you can become the best version of yourself. Okay. Take care of your emotional health with workshops, meditation, and community. Excuse me. Increase your sense of purpose by 40%. Reduce your stress by 20 Like, where are they getting these numbers from? I guarantee that if you thumbs up this stream, your life satisfaction will increase by 5%. So toss me a thumbs up. Oh, hello, Ronnie. Welcome, welcome. New subscriber here from Norway. Greetings from Canada. Yep, Monica, when I think of a genius and I think of who is the smartest person that I've ever heard of in the world, Jay Shetty is, is the one that comes to mind immediately. Again, sarcasm for those of you that don't catch that. Okay, trusted by thousands of people. And then we have, oh, what do you know? A bunch of freaking testimonials. Love to see that. Becoming a genius member gives you live weekly workshops, live guided meditations, genius journeys, community, genius meetups, the genius app. So basically a bunch of stuff I could find for free on the internet. Love that for me. Start your trial. Trial lasts for seven days. Cancel at any time. Okay. You make the rules. Genius is always in your own time and at your own pace. Listen to the workshops and meditations anytime, anywhere. Your growth is on your own terms. Genius members get results. Within the first 90 days of genius, members report feeling blah, blah, blah. All of these fake stats that I made up for my sales page. The genius community will be there for your life. Wait. Oh, I misread that. The genius community will be there for you for life. This is a global network dedicated to well-being, mindfulness, and peace. Our purpose is to serve. Okay, let's find out how much this is going to cost us. Drop your guesses in the comments. Is it going to be $5 a month, $50 a month, $500 a month? What do you think? Well, wait a minute. Let me figure out some things and then we'll go from there. Here we go. Just kidding. We're still going to wait a few minutes. Okay. Hello, DC. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to DC, what are you doing? Figure it out. They report feeling 100% lighter in the wallet. That is correct. Okay. Let's see. How much is this going to cost? To be determined. Okay, someone's saying 199 monthly. I'm going to guess like $49 US. But we'll see. <gasps> oh, I thought that was $390 a month. Oh my God. Huh. I almost had a freaking heart attack. I almost had a freaking heart attack, guys. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. $699 a month. Thankfully, no. It's $39 a month, or if you pay up front, it's $390 for the year, which is $32 a month. So cheaper than I anticipated, but still, in my opinion, not worth the money. Just download the Calm app and listen to the free, the free, um, whatever it's called. Oh, man, this is stressful. <laughs> Studies show that 90 days of genius will empty your wallet by 50%, increase stress by 30%, and increase risk of brain aneurysm by 10%. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, if, if we've learned anything from watching the content here on my channel, it's that these people don't actually follow any kind of pricing structure. They just feel whatever amount of money they want. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this is painful. He makes $390,000 a month from this. I hate it here. I hate it here too, honestly. The only reason I stick around is for all of you in the chat who make it worth my time. Otherwise, I would have been long gone by now. <laughs> because I really do hate it here so much. <laughs> Help. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the comments again. Oh, uh, yes, you absolutely should. We started on the bed, but then Bubba moved to the floor and he's just been there. I think he wants out of the room, but I haven't <laughs> gotten up to let him out. So he gave up and admitted defeat and just fell asleep on the floor. Oh. Uh. Okay, Ray is saying, I watched a great YouTube video from a creator called Patrick Boyle about the rise in financial scams. I include this life coaching garbage on social media as another one of these scams. I would agree. Um, I think anything like, it all kind of ties into the same thing. So whether it's like MLMs, it's affiliate marketing, it's this new like digital marketing MRR stuff, life coaching, crypto, they all target the same types of people and offer like very similar solutions, AKA grips that aren't actually a solution. Oops, sorry, buddy. It's not okay, bubbies. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the dog. He looks, oh, unless you wanna come up. up? What's this? Say hello to all your fans. Look, he's looking at you guys. He's looking at you guys. What's it is? Do you want it? You gotta come get it. Up, up. Up, up. Oh, yes. Okay, we're back on the bed. We're gonna move the floof cam. Back in business, baby. There we go. Perfect. It's better for all of us. Okay. Sorry for the tangent there, folks. The puppies take priority. Money comes from intuition. Yeah, actually, you can just manifest your wealth. I don't know why everyone's complaining about being broke. Like, just decide that you're going to be rich. Big dumb idiots. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, I'm still wrestling with the fact that his celebrity name dropping at the beginning only listed people who are <laughs> currently identified as trouble sources. You and I both. Yes, he does, DC. Yes, he does. Okay, sorry, I'm so far behind. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, if you're new here. Hi, if you're not. Danielle Ryan, Jay Shetty. So good. I love it. I'll just buy and sell a course. It'll never go wrong. Nope. Everyone. Buy my new MRR course linked in my description of this video. Just kidding. Okay, what do we want to do? Do we want to keep going? Do we want to look at his YouTube channel? I don't have any plans. So y'all got to tell me. Otherwise, I'll log off. <laughs> <gasps> oh, goodness. Exactly. So if you've watched one of my... If you've been here from the beginning... And by beginning, I mean the beginning of the time I started covering these grifters on the internet. I did one of my original reaction videos was this woman who explained that the key to creating pricing in your business is to pick how much money you want to make in a year divided by how many weeks in the year you want to work, how many hours per week you want to work, and how many days per week you want to work. And I did the calculation based on the fact that I only want to work one hour a day, one day a week. So that's 52 hours a year. I would have to charge $20,000 an hour, <laughs> which I guess Jay Shetty charges $90,000 an hour. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> maybe I should only work one hour a day or one hour a year, which I've already been uh, streaming for two hours today. So I guess that's not a very efficient use of my time. Um, and I really need to reconsider what I'm doing with my life. Okay, YouTube, I'm down for whatever. I'm just finishing an iced coffee at 5.49 in the afternoon. Oh my God, you are out of control. If I drink a coffee past 2 p.m., I will be up all night. Yeah. 
Exactly. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be launching coaching calls at the end of this stream, just the low, low price of $50,000. Um, my PayPal link is in my bio. So just send me the money and we'll book a call. Okay. But I'm really busy and I only work one hour a year. So you're going to have to wait 12 months till I open up my next hour of availability. Okay. I don't take IOUs, and if you need a payment plan, you're going to have to pay an extra $5 million in interest. Yes, apparently. So allegedly, Jay Shetty charges $90,000 an hour, whereas Ed Milet, you can get an hour of his time for the low, low price of $30,000, allegedly. So I'll go right in the middle. Okay, you can book into my calendar 2024. Um, send me 50 grand and I'll email you. My assistant will email you. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, these are all like podcast episodes. I'm not listening to an hour long video. I like you guys, but I don't like you guys that much. Okay, let's see. Jay Shetty Grifter. Maybe I'll just go to Reddit. I don't want to get copyright striked. Struck. Stroked. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. That was bad. <gasps> Jay Shetty is a fraud. Here we go. Allegedly, in this person's opinion. Okay, buckle up. This looks like a good one. Um, Bubba charges about um, probably $1 million for his mastermind where you will learn the secret to getting unlimited snacks and so many snuggles. Oh, so cute. So cute. Look at these floppy freaking ears. So freaking cute. Oh my God. I love him. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back. Everyone else talks to their dogs like that, right? It's not just me. Oh, DC, don't be so ridiculous. She says that my assistant... Oh, yes. Okay, sorry, I misread that. I thought you said my assistant was going to spell check because we know we don't have time for proper grammar or sentences that make sense in our copy. We just make things on the fly when we're half asleep and become rich that way. Yes. New mastermind coming soon. Bubba is the leader. He will teach you how to be zen and improve your life's purpose and quality by 56.2% based on studies allegedly. Okay, let's read this Reddit thread. Fun. Hear me out. I can't be the only one watching Jay Shetty's videos thinking... Hey, wait, haven't I heard or read this before? In most of Jay Shetty's videos is included a story of some sort, something that helps you understand the message of his videos. The problem is most of those stories are plagiarized, some of which I can't even tell where from, but I remember reading them on Facebook three years ago. Some examples I can think of off the top of my head are the girl who left her boyfriend after he donated his eyes to her. What? The professor who crumpled up a $100 bill and asked his students if they wanted it. That woman telling her children if he doesn't work hard, he'll end up like the street sweeper across the street. I remember watching a video where he teaches us about the five languages of love, advertising the concept as his own with a motivational story to go along with it. He copied the idea out of a book called The Five Languages of Love. What? Oh my God. I've never like... I've watched um, Kia's World has covered a lot of like Jay Shetty stuff in the past. And so I've watched her videos, but I don't think I've ever like myself done specific research on Jay Shetty. So this is just like comical to me. I get mystified when I read the comment section. None of those people seem to know or care that he has plagiarized other authors content. Nothing that comes out of his mouth are original ideas that he has been stealing from other people's stories made a motivational video out of it and is earning a profit off it. Also, the topics he chooses to speak about are all mundane and discussed over a thousand times to the point that the message in his videos becomes obvious. We shouldn't take someone for granted, follow your dreams, help the poor, yada, yada. 
These are things 12 year old would know and aren't exactly philosophical topics. Most of it is really repetitive, but the people keep swallowing it up or proclaiming him the voice of our generation. His ideals have been spoken over a thousand times. Jay Shetty is just a new voice speaking out those ideals. Oh my goodness. So funny. Exactly. Reddit is my go-to source for information on any grifter. Like anytime I want to know, like, is this person legit? I'll just search someone's name and then end it with Reddit and it will tell me everything I need to know. Group discount for Bubba. If you sign up today, you will save $1,111.11. Oh God. Yeah, this is just funny, honestly. Again, this is all alleged in this person's opinion. I do not state this as fact. I simply pulled this from a random person on Reddit. Okay, people are catching on to him being a fraud. His famous photo of him proving that he was a monk is literally him in an orange hoodie and a maroon scarf. There's nothing to back his claim he was ever a monk. He crops names off viral quotes and sticks his name to them. Check out Nicole Arbor's video exposing him. Interesting. I don't know if that's true or not. That seems like a bit of a stretch to me, like that he wasn't a monk, just because it's such a big part of his um, persona that I feel like it would be really difficult to lie about that. But if that's true, that's wild. I just saw a clip on a Facebook about him through JP Sears. So I Googled him and his quotes. It's blatant plagiarism, but this Reddit thread is the only thing on Google that comes up. It's likely been completely wiped off of search results. He isn't a monk. Even if he was, he certainly doesn't practice what is preached. It's an embarrassment. The teachings of Buddha does not encourage one to pursue after fame, caption for clickbaits, claim credits from other people's work, lying, he mentioned he doesn't touch his phone two hours after he wakes up. Well, check the timing of his posts. Well, I mean, he could be using a scheduling app, not to defend him, but I'm just saying. And of course, inflating oneself with titles and award-winning shows. He used religion for his fame, but Buddhism is about forgiveness. Just don't feed his toxicity. This is the piece that doesn't make sense to me, and I kind of already mentioned this earlier in the stream, but if he was a monk, like this seems very unmonk like to then become like a multimillionaire self-help guru. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. This guy is not a monk. Okay, we're all on the same page here. Oh, man. Interesting. Again, I don't know if he was or wasn't, but it seems like a weird lie to make if it's such a big part of your brand because it would be really easy for people to debunk it. Like if I started walking around telling everyone that I was a, a doctor, like an MD, um, that's pretty easy to like debunk. You could Google it and find out that I'm lying. So I don't know. Maybe it's harder to like disprove that someone's not a monk. I don't know. He was a Hindu monk, not a Buddhist monk, though the teachings you mentioned apply to Hinduism too. He couldn't realistically have become a monk without giving those things up, let alone date someone and marry them in that time too. Interesting. Is there sources with this info? Admittedly, not a lot, but we're from the same international spirit community. So news travels. I realize this is not convincing. So here are a few links to his past. Guys, we're doing detective work. Okay, no, I don't know. This is just a link to monks. This page doesn't work. Ah. I mean, this Reddit thread is four years old, so... Video unavailable. My goodness. Hmm. I have never liked this fella. He is the monk who actually bought a Ferrari. The whole ex-monk thingy is such a ruse and a marketing gimmick. When you set out to be a monk, 
you are expected to relinquish everything, seek permission from your mother, and set on a path where you change your name and basically become a new person. Jay Shetty basically failed in becoming a monk. He could have easily said, I was on a spiritual journey teaching myself. Why on X, why on earth X monk? monk? I think he goes for the X monk like persona because it sounds more interesting than like, oh, I tried it and it didn't work out. Or to just say like I was on a spiritual journey is less enticing than to say like I used to be a monk. It's like I set out to study my CPA, then midway changed my field, but continue telling people, hey, I'm an ex at a CPA. This is actually really funny because I know a guy who was in med school and he dropped out of med school like 10 years ago and went around. He was talking about medications one day and he was like, well, I used to be in med school. So like, I think I know how to take medications. And I was just like, you're acting like you're a doctor, but you literally dropped out of med school. Like what? I took a chemistry class once, so I'm basically a chemist, in case you were wondering. His team has garnered some big names in his kitty and an appearance on The Ellen Show and voila, ka -ching. His inspirational quotes are so juvenile and basic. It's like only school kids and college kids relate, and I feel the absolute opposite of motivated. I want his farce to be called out, paying the devil its due, his English accent and blue eyes. We talked about this earlier. Were a package Huffington Post was looking for. Would love somebody to come up with a skip blowing this whole thing up. Okay, and it just continues. Blah, 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 blah. Jay Shetty is a fraud, allegedly, according to Reddit. I state nothing as fact. Okay, catching up on the comments once again. Yeah, this is, uh, if anyone has been following the Taylor Swift drama, I, um, I don't listen to Taylor Swift, but... All of my friends apparently do. And she has been flooding my freaking Instagram feed. Anyway, one of them was talking about like a PR stunt that her team did because there was a bunch of studies about how much money or how much jet fuel, like CO2 emissions, her private jet has um, emitted. And so the PR team sent her to a Jets game to like take over the SEO on the Google algorithm so that when people search like Taylor Swift jet, that's what comes up. Allegedly. Um, could be something similar. <laughs> exactly. I flunked out oopsies doesn't have the same ring as what he says. That's kind of my point. <laughs> it's much easier to be like, oh, I chose to leave this profession versus I am a failure. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, um, so there we go. Kia's world is right here. So if you haven't watched her video called Jay Shetty is a fraud, be sure to give it a watch. Um, she's also almost at 20K, so go sub to her channel if you're not already. Um, okay, I don't really know what else to do here. For those of you that just joined, we checked out Jay Shetty. We checked out his life coach certification program. I think it's a big crock of you know what. And I wouldn't recommend that you sign up for it. If you're interested in becoming a life coach, don't. But if you're really interested in becoming a life coach, go to Udemy and buy a course for $9.99. You'll learn all the same things. Great, awesome, cool. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the piece. So he wanted to be a monk, but it was hard. So he decided the whole morality should be flushed down the drain. Or maybe he's someone who's like highly money motivated, which I'm going to assume because most of the grifters who end up in this space are motivated by money. Um, perhaps he realized like, well, being a monk is never going to become lucrative. Like I'm never going to be able to capitalize on my journey as a monk because that kind of goes against everything that monks stand for. Therefore, I'm going to drop out of being a monk, turn that into my whole brand or persona, and instead become a self-help grifter. So love that. Okay, so this is a piece that I will disagree with, and I've talked about this in other videos. 
From a marketing perspective, pricing your products, it's the same as like when you go to a store and a price is like $9.99 versus $10. It is, and this is like your little business tip for the day. When it comes to pricing, you should always end in a seven or a nine just because psychologically it like tricks people into thinking that they're getting a better deal than they actually are. Um, the unfortunate piece is that all of these like self-help grifters have ruined it for the rest of us and have all priced their freaking products ending in seven, 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 or some sort of angel number. But, uh, from like a marketing psychology perspective, it does make sense to have it end in a nine just because it seems cheaper. Like I would rather spend $39 than 40 because in my head, it sounds cheaper, but Obviously, we know it's not. <laughs> oh, exactly. But the problem is, it's like with any of these freaking coaches, they take an actual helpful thing. Like we were talking about earlier with the therapy tools. It's like they take real tools and then extrapolate them into this like scammy thing. So sorry, my brain was loading for a second. Um, so it's really unfortunate that these people have done this with marketing psychology, but here we are. I think I just smeared my eyeliner all over my eyeball. So love that for me. Yeah, exactly. We see it in real estate too. So they'll price something at $3.99 or $6.97 or whatever versus the even number because it seems cheaper. <laughs> Do I like it? No. But is it the way it works? Unfortunately, yes. Exactly. They twist the tools and they ruin everything. And that is why I hate it here, my friends. So, so freaking true. Okay, friends. I think um, I might end it here. If we don't have anything else to discuss today. Um, but it's been fun. It's been a time. Yes, exactly. So I see grifters use spirituality in place of being qualified. I'm a yogi, a monk. Listen to me. I know better than everyone. And I would agree with that as well. I mean, even back when I had my like life coaching business, it was alongside my yoga business. And so it was definitely under this guise of like enlightenment and of like being of the people and offering people the opportunity to heal within through movement and mindset and blah, 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 blah. But I was a 26 year old that didn't know anything. So it was like, believe me, pay me money. Let me teach you all these amazing things that I know when really I don't know anything. I still don't know anything in case you were wondering. <laughs> but I digress. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I think that's honestly for real going to be it. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch for the baby. <laughs> oh, he's like sleeping on his toy. That can't be comfy. <sighs> osmosis. Always through osmosis. That's it, baby. You want to learn something? Get into my energy and I will transmit it to you through osmosis. All right, friends. I'm done blabbering. Thank you so much for spending the last two hours of your life with me. I appreciate you all so much. Be sure to learn through osmosis over the next week. And I can't wait to see you all again. Also, by the way, I'm going to be filming a reaction video tomorrow. And I have a bunch of content for it. But if you have anything last minute, any Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube videos that you want me to react to, the form where you can submit the links to those videos is in the description. So please, please, please send that content my way if you come across anything funny, interesting, or just downright scammy in the next like 12 hours. Let me know. Um, that's going to be it. Take care. Comb your hair. Thanks again. And I'll catch you live next Monday and I'll have another video coming out um, in the coming days. Okay, fun. Bye.